All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, glory, and honor unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakar Kodash. Double honors unto the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to Yaakim, who go out the four corners of the earth to push his truth in all sincerity, uh, putting your life on the line to do so. Shalom, Um It's the brother Tawabash. You know, just getting ready for a uh, camp today. And, uh, you know, I did a study this week. I do this, you know, probably once a month, uh, a study about uh, suffering for uh, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai's sake, you know, um, as he suffers, uh, you know, suffered for our sakes, so will we for his. You know, that's part of being joint heirs with, with Yahweh Shai. You got to go through what Yahweh Shai went through. Um, you got to walk in, uh, in his path, you know, you know, through the spirit and power of Yahweh. But, uh, you know, first scripture I want to get into is first Peter four and one for as much then as Yahweh Shai hath suffered for us in the flesh, arm yourselves likewise with the same mind. All right. So you got to be prepared to go through what Yahweh Shai went through and worse, you know, what the Maccabees went through. And you know what I'm saying? Like, those are things, you know, you need to be preparing your minds for, um, you know, just suffering in general. It doesn't have to be physical uh, harm. It's, it's just um, suffering, you know, to suffer for um, for what, what Yahweh Shai uh, went through for us and how we should uh, dedicate ourselves and be occupied in prophecy and, uh, and be in suffering for him, right? Because, you know, you're going to be giving up your life for, for, uh, to gain your life. You know, you're going to be... Um, getting rid of an old man and bringing forth a new man kind of the way that uh the new heavens and the new earth will be brought in you know we are uh, getting our spirits quickened you know we're getting the the proper um doctor indoctrination before we're uh brought to the kingdom you know because at, at the time of the kingdom yahweh is going to put yahweh bashim yahweh is going to put that spirit um bashim is going to put that spirit um, and, and the Akim, um, and all the nation of Israel, so that we shall not sin, and we shall uh, be in, in one accord under Yahweh. Right? And that, that's what's uh, prescribed by Yahweh Bashim Yahweh for this place. Right? Um, let me finish the scripture. Um, you know, so you gotta, you, you gotta arm yourselves with the same mind, meaning, you know, you have to be just as prepared. You know, as Yahweh Shai was, he he meditated on the things that were gonna happen. Hey, a car just pulled in in front of me with the uh, seven seven seven. You know, what I'm saying that's a completion uh, in the scriptures. Um, for he that hath suffered in the flesh hath ceased from sin, and Yahweh Shai did cease from sin. You know, that's something that you know we're we're, we're striving for. Now we're human, or men, we're gonna sin, but to uh, battle it to the best of your ability to be able to deflect you know sinning to, to the best of your ability is uh you know is part of what's going to help get you delivered out of this place are right, you doing the work ceasing from uh, going off uh, now when you go off you know you just you, you understand there's some things you can't change and you understand the things that you can not change you know you shouldn't be you know, still smoking cigarettes and and uh, you know, still trying to gangbang and stuff like that. That that's the obvious. Those are obvious things you can change. But like you know, certain things you can't change. Like you disobedient children. Um, you can't do what the uh, the scriptures say to do with your disobedient children. Um, you can't. Uh, you cannot. Um, you know, do what the scriptures say to a homosexual when you see one walking down the street, right? So those are things you cannot change. So those are the things you ask for grace and mercy of, right? But the things you can change are all like your personal weaknesses. You can change those things, right? You just have to have the willpower to do so. All right, this is Romans 5, starting at 3. And not only so, but we glory in tribulations also, knowing that tribulation worketh patience, and patience experience and experience hope and hope maketh not ashamed because of uh, because the love of Yahweh 
by Hashem Yahweh is shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Spirit, Spirit, which is given unto us. Right, for when we were yet without strength, in due time Yahweh died for the un, uh, ungodly. For scarcely for a righteous man will one, uh, for scarcely for a righteous man will die will one die, yet preadventure for a good man some would uh, even dare to die. Right, so the the point was in uh, three. You know what I'm saying, um, and not only so, but uh, we glory in tribulation also, right? Because you know we understand through much tribulation shall we enter the kingdom of heaven, as as the scriptures uh, as the scriptures say. Right, so when you're going through stuff, man, just glory in it. You know, give it up to the Most High. Like, all right, you know, this is what you want me to go through. Let me have my eyes open, my ears open. My sense is all ready to go so that I can uh, understand what you're teaching me. Because a lot of times when you're going through these things, you know, it's for a lesson, you know, and there might be something that you can help a brother uh, d down the road with. You know, you go through it now, you know, another brother might be going through it later because there's no new thing out of the sun. You know, we all got to go through the same thing. We just go through it in different seasons. So a brother might be going through that in a different season and you might be able to lend a hand because you found a scripture that brought ease to your mind, right, and 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 uh, comforted you, right, because this is the comforter, so you get that comfort, you know, from Yahweh Bashem Shai, and you can give that comfort to another brother through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Shai. you know, that's a beautiful thing, you know, but your eye has to be, uh, uh, your eyes have to be open to be able to understand that some of the, sometimes when you're going through some things, it's, um, you know, take it cheerfully. You know, take that, take that, that jab on the chin sometimes, you know, because, hey, that might open up, you know, something for you, you know, like in a fight, you know, I use that as an example. Somebody throw a jab, they opening up their whole, um, you know, rib cage, right? So you, you, you eat that jab, but you drop levels, encounter with a body shot, bam, hit them right in that rib, come back up, bam, right in the, uh, you know, right under the chin, you know what I'm saying? Now you're feeling good. You know, you done found a defense, and that's what the scriptures are, is a defense. You know, Yahweh Shai suffered, man, and he showed us how to suffer. And and and, and how to suffer, man. You gotta sometimes you gotta give it up to the Lord, man. And sometimes you just have to endure. But you always you can always uh you know ask Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, you know, to get you out of any situation. Right. And and really you wanna ask for the strength for yourself to get you out of that situation. Right? Because if you know you you do it yourself. You know, nothing we do is actually through our own power. But I'm saying, you know, ask the most how to give you strength to do it yourself. And don't just ask, oh, you know, deliver me, deliver me. You know, there's certain times for that. But other times, man, like, Lord, I, I feel I have the strength to be able to handle this. You know, with your help, you know, Baba Kushai, you know, help me out. You know, give me the strength to, to, to you know, make this happen. You know, um, you know, the, the Lord appreciates a, a, a diligent man. And that shows your diligence. If you're willing to uh, uh, try to deal with the situation on your own, now there might come a time where, hey, Lord, I tried to, I tried to, you know, give, use the tools you gave me to deal with the situation. Um, you know, right now I, I just, you know, I'm as I've ex expanded or uh, uh, what's the word, uh, stretch myself to the limit, and, and I can do no more. You know, you know, then you ask for that that increase and that help, and you know. If you are a man of the Lord, you know he's going to give it to you. You know you know he's there every time you need him. He may not be there when you call him, but he's there when you need him. And that's 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 the necessity of it. And that's the love of you. How about Shimei Al-Shai? So like, I don't need to be talking so much. This is Romans 8 and 18. For I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to, to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. And that glory that's going to be revealed in us is the kingdom of heaven. All right? And how is that uh, uh, kingdom of heaven going to be ushered in? Through war. Right? Through deliverance of the elect. And those chariots. You know? The Most High Man is, is ready to deliver his elect. You know, he's ready for his, uh, his, his children to come home. That he knows by name that are written in the book of life. You know, he has love for the nation of Israel uh, and 144,000 with a, a one-third multitude. And he only hates, you know, two-thirds that chose to be what Esau. You know what I'm saying? 
who made alliance with Esau and, and you know, never got back. This is uh, 2 Timothy. It's like it. 2 Timothy 3 and 12. Yea, and all that will live godly in Yahweh Shai Mashiach shall suffer persecution. Right? And, and we've all been there. You know, been treated a certain way. You know? And you know it's because of either your, your, your physical appearance or, you know, maybe it's why you're teaching. You know, you're treated a certain way for what you're saying. <sighs> so like it. But, you know what I'm saying? Like, the Most High, you know, he, he, he don't care about that. You're supposed to, you know, you're supposed to. The scripture just said, if you're living like Yahweh Bashimi, or like Yahweh Shai did, through the spirit and power of Yahweh, man, you know, you on the right track. But, you, what did it say? You're going to have persecu uh, persecution, tribulation, suffering. All right, let me grab one more and then get up out of here. Now let's go to let's see first Peter four twelve and nineteen. Oh, twelve through nineteen. Beloved, think it not strange concerning the fiery trial, which is no try, uh, which is no is to you so like yeah. The fiery trial which is to try you as though some strange things happened unto you. But rejoice in as much as ye are partakers of Yahweh Shai's sufferings, that when his glory shall be revealed, ye may be glad also with exceeding joy. If ye be reproached for thine, uh, the name of Yahweh Shai, happy are ye, for the spirit of glory and of Yahweh sitteth upon, or resteth upon you, and their part he is evil spoken of, but on your part, he is glorified. Right. But let none of you, you suffer as a murderer or as a thief or as an evildoer or as a busybody in other men's matters. Yet any man suffer yet if yet if any man suffer as a uh, Christian, let him not be ashamed, but let him glory Yahweh on this behalf. For the time is come that judgment must begin at the house of Yahweh. And if it first began at us, what shall the end be of them that obey not the gospel of Yahweh? And if the righteous scarcely be saved, where shall the ungodly and the sinner appear? Wherefore, let them that suffer according to the will of Yahweh commit the keeping of their souls to him in well-doing as, uh, as unto a faithful creator. And that's self-explanatory, man. You know, you're gonna suffer. You're gonna suffer for your house shot, man. It's not. A, this isn't an easy road at all. You know what I'm saying? But it's uh, the current sufferings, like like uh, Romans 8 and 18 says, are not to be compared to the kingdom of heaven. You know, so it's up to you if you wanna, if you if if, the, if it means the world to you, and your love for your house boss from your house is real. You know, you're going to do what it takes to please your father and, uh, you know, to get yourself on one of them chariots and do the work, you know, consistently and not grudgingly. You know, we look forward to doing the work, you know. It's, uh, you know, it's our one day where we get to take off that, uh, that Clark Kent, you know, of the world and, and be ourselves and show the world, you know, the true, uh, true doctrine of the Bible. You know, that's a powerful thing. You know, with that, I'm going to wrap this up. I say shalom to you, Aki, man. Keep pushing this word. You know, we're close. We're almost out of here, man. The signs of the times are, are revealing um, the truth of this Bible, man. And, and the more we bring it out, the more it's exposing this devil. And, and the more and more we're ushering in the kingdom of heaven through uh, chanting down Babylon. So, hey, shalom, brother. Stay strong.